In today's lecture, we will understand the design of lifting lug. Let us suppose there is a load, or basically there is a load uh, which weights 4.5 tons. 4.5 tons means 4,500 kg, and we have to lift this load. And uh, in order to lift it, we have to design a lifting lug, and this lift lifting lug. Either has to be welded or uh, this has to be fixed or inserted in, into uh, this load. So in this lecture, we will understand how the lifting lug is basically being designed. What are the design analysis or uh, what are the design criteria for the lifting lug? Okay, so let's start. Let us assume that load is 4.5 ton, 4,500 kg, and we are lifting it using a D shackle. Okay, so this uh, if you are seeing this, this is basically the blue this is blue it is basically the lifting lug and there is a hole in it diameter small d there is a radius uh, it is basically consists of uh, one circle and this half circle and this is a straight line it is this uh, in this way this is basically the dimension of the lifting lug it is basically designed in such a manner so now there is a hole and uh, if you want to lift something then we have to use the d cycle so let us suppose the d cycle available available with us is 5 ton d cycle okay and this 5 ton d cycle basically have a diameter of 35 mm it is basically mentioned on the d cycle if you are fam you are not familiar with the d cycle i will make a separate video and let you know about how the d cycle rating is being done so this d cycle is having 35 mm diameter we can call it as 35 mm is basically 3.5 centimeter okay now this d cycle has to be inserted into this diameter d hole okay it is inserted into this hole okay so now we have to make some margin over there so let us design this d d as let us take in order to have some margin 40 mm okay 5 mm ka margin humne le liya. we have taken the 40 mm now this 40 mm is basically 4 centimeter okay now already we have some design criteria this length over which this d sag uh, this lifting lug has to be welded this length l is equal to 2 r and this radius from this point to this outer periphery this is r and this whole uh, diameter is d basically small d if small if d small d is 4 centimeter then l is equal to 2 times r okay and r will be equal to the formula for r is equal to 1.5 small d here d is 40 to so r is equal to 1.5 into uh, 40 mm or 4 centimeter then it comes out to be 6 centimeter and l is equal to 2 r so basically 2 into 6 centimeter that is basically 12 centimeter or 12 centimeter or 120 mm now what we have defined we have defined the r we have now we we have r r values we know r values we already get okay r ki value apne ko mil gaya and d value we already get l value we already get now this uh, lifting lug will having some thickness t this uh, there, there is some thickness t of this lifting lug so we have to analyze what will be the thickness t of this lifting lug and for that we have we have to uh, go into the design analysis we have to consider the stresses and uh, considering suppose sigma is equal to force over area whatever the criteria is that if we know the sigma if we know the force and force will be equal to the weight that is being lifted so in this way we can calculate the area if, we, if anything is missing from the area we can basically calculate it using the stress analysis concept okay it is simple machine design over there so it is not no need to worry about so this is basically the lifting lug design and this lifting lug will be like this the load is attached to it so at this junction if we this is the junction this is the failure line if we consider this junction then this junction when we lift something that this junction will be having load like this only okay this junction is having the load like this only and they it it will be under effect of tensile stresses so if this if uh, so there is a chances that this area this is having the minimum area and it may fail over there so we have to define the uh, thickness using this concept so what is this tensile stress consideration if we want to consider this tensile stress consideration okay this load this load is basically this plane this plane is basically under the tensile stresses okay so we have to unilly use the tensile stress consideration so tensile stress or the formula for the tensile stress is equal to tensile force over area okay 
now tensile stresses we already know that this material this lifting lug will be made up of mild steel so let us consider the maximum sigma maximum permissible tensile stresses of this material is 1500 kg per centimeter square this is a maximum permissible tensile stresses in that material okay now the catch is what will be the area that we have to consider now this area this area already if uh, i show with green pin this area this area is under tensile stresses and this length is basically l and this is basically d so what is l minus d okay so this area will be this area is will be this plus this area will be l minus d so one part of this l minus d now this area will be having some thickness t inside okay this is having some thickness t this is having some thickness t this is the that will be the thickness of the lifting lug so l minus d into t so this area becomes comes out to be l minus d into t now we know the tensile maximum tensile stresses that is 1500 kg per centimeter square okay we know this form force uh, force force what is force basically force will be equal to the weight that we are lifting up that is basically 4500 kg divided by area is l minus d into t that is length length is already 12 centimeter and uh, l minus d and what is d is equal to 4 centimeter so 12 minus 4 into uh, t 12 minus 4 into t now we have to solve this equation okay from this equation we have to solve this equation so it comes out to be t into 12 minus 4 means 8 into 1500 kg per centimeter square barabar 4500 kg basically you always have the dimension accuracy as we are, it is given in centimeter square so then why it is i am taking this 12 otherwise it is 120 it is basically 120 mm it is given in the mm so you have to uh, while calculation you have to uh, match the dimensions basically what units basically dimension is basically units so from this thick t t comes out to be 3 by 8 that is basically 0 0.375 centimeter and if we convert into mm then 3.75 mm so the, according to the design analysis according to the design criteria if we are considering the tensile stresses if we are considering what stresses tensile stresses just hold hmm. tensile stresses consideration tensile stresses consideration the minimum thickness the minimum thickness is 3.75 3.75 mm this is basically tensile stresses consideration so we will mark this as we will have in an asterisk over there now the another consideration is basically the bearing stresses bearing stresses matlab they, this is a pin which is being inserted into area there will be the pressure and the bearing stress is given by uh, bearing stresses bearing stresses it is given by bearing force over area load over bearing area basically load over bearing area okay now this load already we know 4500 and this bearing area bearing area is what basically the bearing area so this uh, bearing area will be the diameter of the pin dia of pin into thickness of plate t thickness of plate t basically there is a hole there is a hole in this hole the pin is being inserted okay the basically if we, this is the pin this is the pin if we cut the pin into half so this area there is a plane the plane this is basically the pressure in which the pressure is being inserted over there and this is having the diameter d into the thickness the thickness of the pin basically t d into t basically okay and this diameter of the pin into thickness of the uh, plate or basically the diameter of the pin into thickness of the plate or thickness of the lifting lug basically so we have to design this to so 4500 divided by uh, bearing area will be uh, bearing stresses 4500 divided by diameter into thickness of the plate okay now this bearing stresses if we are considering the mild steel then bearing stresses for the mild steel is for ms the bearing stresses are 1875 kg per centimeter square okay now bearing stress is equal to uh, bearing stress is equal to four you uh, get the upka bearing stresses one 
वन एट सेवन फाइव बराबर बियरिंग फोर्स इज फोर फाइव ओके ओवर बियरिंग एरिया बियरिंग एरिया तो बियरिंग एरिया कम्स आउट टू बी फोर फाइव डबल जीरो ओवर वन एट सेवन फाइव ओके एंड दिस बियरिंग एरिया इज बेसिकली डी इन टू टी बराबर फोर फाइव डबल जीरो ओवर वन एट सेवन फाइव डायमीटर वी ऑलरेडी नो डी स्मॉल डी वी ऑलरेडी नो स्मॉल डी स्मॉल डी इज इक्वल टू एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंसिडर स्मॉल डी इज फोर सेंटीमीटर ओके स्मॉल डी इज बेसिकली फोर सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम दिस वी विल फाइंड द थिकनेस ऑफ द प्लेट ओके एंड दिस थिकनेस ऑफ द प्लेट कम्स आउट टू बी जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स एट सिक्स सेंटीमीटर इफ वी कैलकुलेट दिस D is already फोर सेंटीमीटर तो वी कैलकुलेट द थिकनेस ऑफ द प्लेट कम्स आउट टू बी जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स एट सिक्स और वी कैन कॉल्ड सिक्स पॉइंट एट सिक्स एम एम ओके द प्रीवियस थिकनेस ऑफ द प्लेट कम्स आउट टू बी थ्री पॉइंट सेवन फाइव एम एम यूजिंग द टेंसाइल स्ट्रेस कंसिडरेशन बट यूजिंग द दिस बियरिंग स्ट्रेस कंसिडरेशन द थिकनेस ऑफ द प्लेट कम्स आउट टू बी सिक्स पॉइंट एट सिक्स एम एम तो वॉट एवर द वॉट एवर द मैक्सिमम वी हैव टू टेक दैट थिकनेस ठीक है इफ If one criteria, if uh, suppose for this bearing stresses consideration, it has to be at least this thickness, six point eight six mm thickness must be there. But for tensile stress consideration, it is three point seven five mm. So whichever is the bigger unit, we have to take that. Okay. So it is six point eight six mm. So let us choose a plate of eight mm thickness. Eight mm thickness. Okay. Now we have all the dimensions available. We already know. Uh, we already know the D. D is basically फोर सेंटीमीटर D L is equal to टू R basically ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर वी ऑलरेडी नो दिस एंड आर ऑलरेडी नोन आर इज इक्वल टू फोर सेंटीमीटर एंड बेसिकली वी अब नाउ द थिकनेस वी ऑल्सो नो द थिकनेस द थिकनेस ऑफ दिस लिफ्टिंग लग इज बेसिकली टी इज इक्वल टू टी इज इक्वल टू एट एम एम प्लेट ओके नाउ नाउ वी यू कंसिडर नाउ यू विल सपोज दैट ऑल द क्रिटेरिया बींग डन बट देर इज समथिंग लेफ्ट This lifting lug has to be welded on the uh, this load. So we have to consider another criteria. That is basically the welding. Welding criteria we have to consider. So what is what is the strength of the weld? That need to be uh, that need and need to be there in order to withhold that load. So basically uh, we have to consider the capacity of the weld also. Capacity of weld. Okay. Now capacity of the weld. So now this maximum allowed stress on the weld. If we, if you are familiar with the welding, then you must know, understand what is the maximum stresses that can induce into the weld. So sigma maximum it will be given or it will be uh, given in the design consideration. Sigma max for weld welding is given by one zero two five kg per centimeter square. Okay. Now we are considering a six mm flat. Flat. Okay, we are considering a six mm flat weld on both sides. Basically, this is like this. So there will be a if this is the lifting lug, there will be a six mm flat on the both side because it is it is being welded. This is on both side. So let us consider the six mm uh, flat weld on both side. Flat of the weld on both side. Now capacity of the weld. Capacity of weld. It is being given by effective throat thickness. Effective Throat thickness into length of weld into maximum permissible stresses. Okay, it is cons as you uh, you understand. So effective throat thickness into length of weld into this uh, maximum permissible stresses. Okay, so we have to calculate the capacity of weld using this. Effective throat thickness. What is the effective throat thickness? Okay, we already uh, this is a load capacity of the effective throat thickness into length of the weld into a maximum permissible stresses. From this, you will get the capacity of the weld. If this capacity of the weld is greater than the lifting load, okay, the lifting load is what is the lifting load? Four thousand five hundred kg. Then you the then design consideration is basically okay. This uh, the welding kit that you are using that is basically okay. Okay, the weld. Uh, if you want to understand, I will again welding. Welding is like this only. Okay, this is the weld. This is the flat of the weld. This is six mm. This is six mm. 
and this is 0 0.7 into 6 the lifting lug this is the lifting lug from the side view and this is the weight over there so this they, they will be welding like this they will be welding like this okay so we have what we have done we have taken three consideration one is the tensile stress consideration other is the bearing stress consideration after tensile stress consideration bearing stress consideration we find a thickness t whatever the maximum we have to take a approximate value a nearby approximate value if it is 7.88 then take the 9 mm plate it is 6.8 then we can take as 8 mm plate it depends upon you if you want to have the more safety criteria more factor of safety you can increase the dimension over over but uh, the dimension but if you increase the dimension of the plate the cost associated with it also increases so you are generally taking nearby value if it is 8 8.5 mm then take it as a 10 mm plate okay after this you have to find the capacity of the weld if this capacity of the weld capacity of weld define basically the thickness of the weld okay so in order to get the thickness of the weld you must know what is the maximum stress is induced in the weld and uh, finding this uh, the design criteria of the weld if capacity of weld is given by effective throat thickness into load of weld into six ma maximum that will be permissible stress so capacity of weld is basically effective through thickness into length of weld into maximum permissible weld stress why using this formula you will able to get you will able to get the uh, get whether this weld will support that load or not this capacity of weld if greater than 4500 kg in our case it comes out to be if you put all the formula it comes out to be 103332 kg that is more than 10 tons okay and we have to lift only 4.5 ton so in this way this lifting lug is designed now this lifting lug uh, that we have designed we are assuming a basically uh, the vertical pull we are assuming vertical pull if this lifting lug is like that uh, it is has it it has to it is not only having the vertical pull it is also having some angle let us suppose we have to lift it using some angle and the length is too big so in this way this lifting lug will be like this and there will be one point over there there will be one point over over there now the load consideration is that the load is not direct okay there will be suppose the slinge is like this the slinge will be like this so we have to take the load the design consideration will be same if that the t is the tension if t is the tension and this is the angle theta this is the angle theta then t sine theta okay and similarly t sine theta this will be the load and in this similar way we have to design and analyze everything here we are taking the vertical pull the single direct pull but here we have to uh, basically take the component of the force all same concept are same nothing is uh, more than that the same concept will apply hope you like this lecture keep supporting subscribe thank you